I'm here at Lords with Middlesex's most celebrated modern day women's cricketer Beth Morgan who has recently announced her retirement from the international game. Beth this must have been an extremely difficult decision for you to have reached. Yeah definitely it's obviously a really tough decision it's uh, been been my life for the last sort of 10, 12, 15 years um, playing cricket um, um, but, but unfortunately injuries over the last three years um, have, have been, it's been a real struggle just to sort of stay fit and try and be be able to give everything I want to and I know is now required at the top level so um, I re, re, um, re tore my shoulder uh, capsule um, I'm playing over in Australia this winter and it just uh, seemed a little bit too much to come back from this time so unfortunately I've had to call it a day but looking back it's been a brilliant 10 years so I, nothing to complain about. Well it certainly has Beth, I mean you've enjoyed terrific success in the game throughout your career both domestically for Middlesex and obviously also on the international stage with England. Uh, what do you put your success down to because it's been magnificent? Um, probably a lot of luck <laughs> of being in the right place at the right time but just so much support I think the people I've had around me um, from obviously close to me and my family and friends and, um, and my teammates both at Middlesex and my, my club mates at, at Finchley um, and all the coaching support, all the support from Middlesex as, as a county um, and then you know once I did break into the, into the England side um, I think the support that's there now for the for the girls at the top level is, is probably second to none in the world and um, and, and you know, getting to work with the coaches and, and all the resources that are there now, it's just um, you know, you can't help but kind of thrive in that sort of environment. So I, I, I put it down to a lot of luck and, and, and some really good people that are around me. That's very modest of you. Uh, <laughs> I mean, the results of all that have seen you win the Ashes down under uh, in Australia, uh, then retain them on home soil. Uh, you've won the One Day World Cup. Uh, you've won the World T20 Cup, and all that was in this, within the space of a couple of years. Um, 2008-2009, a magnificent England women's team. What was it like playing in such a setup? Um, I think it's only when you look back that you realise just what what an achievement it was, what a couple of years it was. Um, you know, just part of the, part of that team is is, is um, it was an amazing time to be to be involved in women's cricket. I mean, we to, to kind of won everything that came came along and to be, had the opportunity to play in all those tournaments in the same. In the same couple of years was um, was just amazing, and and the the team as a whole, I think the the team spirit and the camaraderie, the um, you know the unity in the in the squad was was now looking back just just incredible and amazing to be part of, and to to come out come out with all those trophies is just just dream come true, and you know I'm looking back now, it's a really proud time. Domestically, Beth, uh, <coughs> under your your own captaincy, Middlesex have enjoyed some success on the field. Uh, most recently in 2010 when we got promoted from Division 2 having won the title. Um, how, how have you found things in Division 1? A uh, big, big step up? Yeah, of course. I mean, it's been brilliant because uh, to get the, get the opportunity to play against the, the top players, the top sides, um, that's always going to be a, a real challenge. And, and over the last sort of two, three years, we've had a couple of our more senior players retire and, and, and lots of young players coming through. So it's always going to be going to be challenging. But I've been so impressed with the way the girls have, have responded to that. We've got a a fantastic coach in Rory Coots who's over the last I think five years has just, just made an absolutely massive difference to, to the, way, the way we approach the game, the professionalism involved now, the commitment the girls are putting in and, and all the girls now really really want to be involved in that side, um, there's a lot of competition for places and I think it's a really exciting time and I've got to stay on my toes to, to, try and, <laughs> to try and lead them well. Well it sounds like a good place to be at, um, what hopes do you have for the season ahead? I mean last year we finished fourth in Division 1 um, which is a magnificent performance, uh, albeit in a fairly badly rain-interrupted year. Um, hopes for the year? Yeah, really excited about this year. Um, again, it's a, it is a little bit of a transition phase. We've got a lot of good young players coming through, um, and as I say, lost lost probably a couple of senior players recently. So it's going to be challenging. Again, all all of the um, the other counties are coming on. You know, the standard of women's cricket now is is growing all the time. So I'm really really looking forward to it. I think. You know, without doubt, we know we can we can compete against all the sides, which which is brilliant. And um, you know, we'll just take one game at a time and look to look to go and, and compete in each game. Okay, well, Beth, I mean, just finishing up, you made your debut for Middlesex back in '97. Uh, obviously, it's a huge loss to England, and obviously very disappointing for yourself to have to give up international cricket. But obviously, you're still carrying on with Middlesex. Uh, 81 Championship appearances under your belt. Uh, are we going to make it to 100? <laughs> you're making me sound old. Um, <laughs> 
Yeah, you know, I, as far as I'm concerned, I, I hope hopefully I've got a lot still left to give with sex, and, and while I while I can and while I'm able to, I'll, I'll keep going as long as I can, and I, I'm hoping a, a few years, a good few years yet. So, uh, I mean, I didn't know that I'd play date times. So it's, it's quite a nice nice thing to know, but um, you know, for me, it's all about bringing on the the young players now within Middlesex and trying to give back a, a little bit of the support that I I had throughout my career, and um, and I, I think there's really exciting times ahead, so I'm looking forward to it. Beth, thank you ever so much for your time today. Really appreciate it and uh, all the very best of luck with uh, sorting out the injury and uh, good luck for the future. Thank you very much.